today I'm going to show you how to create an create a FTP server in Android <coughs> and connect it from the PC. For creating this FTP <coughs> server, we will use uh, an apps which uh, you will find uh, free in <coughs> um, Google Play that is known as ES File Explorer. In ES File Explorer, there is a menu called Remote Manager. <coughs> Just open ES File Explorer. <coughs> Just click on the menu and select Remote Manager from Tools. Here you can see, here is the tools. Under that, you have Remote Manager. Before turning on remote manager, I am going to show you how to create the settings. So I am clicking on settings. See, this is the port, set port. In the port, it is given 3721. I will, I am not changing this port. You can change to any port provided that it does not conflict with any other port on your Android phone. It is the set root directory. In the set root directory, you can select the default directory when you will open the FTP, open <coughs> your uh, file system through FTP from Windows machine. So I have set it to, to root directory. You can set any other, other directory, either SD card or data card. Since I have, uh, have <coughs> connected this uh, mobile to, to my um, computer windows machine through USB so SD card is disabled so I have set it to root set manage account here in the set manage account I have put my username you can put your username and password it is SCBHRO username and password system so this is all done uh, nothing to do now just going back and turning it on just look in just follow this the name of the name of ip address is 162 192.168.0.100 and the port number is 3721 and it is ftp so i'll open just open the explorer window and from here, I will type FTP. See, it's already. Uh, just let me see another. It is hundred. Yes, three seven two one. So I'll just change the port number. Three seven two one. See. So it is asking for the username and password. As you have, uh, if you have. Uh, and used FTP before say there is a safe password option or you can log in anonymously so I'll uh, not save, save the password I'll just click on login so this is your root directory uh, right now I cannot show you the See, you cannot open this because SD card is disabled. So uh, I have just uh, you made this uh, video by connecting this with the uh, Android in, uh, Android monitor uh, for Windows. So SD card is disabled. I am showing you some other places. This config says data. This etc. So. Probably I cannot show you copy anything here, but still I am trying. I don't know if I could copy or not. Uh, it will be restricted. But uh, if you use your SD card, uh, you will be definitely able to copy it. Just go to let's say any of the directory. Yes, it is will copy it here. See. FPCMD, FPCMD command dot txt. So you see how it is copied here. So I'm going to delete this one. So in this way, you can easily um, 
create a file, uh, connect to a file server uh, using FTP and access uh, files and folders in your uh, mobile uh, directly from desktop, your Windows desktop. So this is all about and also after using this you can even turn it off. I think you, should, you can we can again check it if we try to access this again from here to to three seven two one. See, it is not available. So this is how um, you can connect to FTP server from your Windows desktop to your Android mobile. Just to download this uh, US File Explorer, you, you can find it in Google Play. Just uh, go to Google Play and search for US File Explorer and download the latest version. So this is all about this video. Thank you very much.